welcome to my channel. I have been tagged by the lovely Trudy Beanie. Um, she was originally tagged tagged by Jane SW who decided one day just to do 10 random questions um, and start a new tag. So she's tagged, tagged Judy, Trudy, oh my gosh, she has tagged Trudy and Trudy's tagged me. I have also noticed today um, that I have also been tagged by the lovely Jo new SW. Um, she has also tagged me as well so thank you both of you. So here are my questions. I have actually wrote, written my answers down, some of them anyway, um, because there's lots of questions and I have a memory like a sieve, as I always say. So, you're hosting a dinner party for some friends. What three course Slim and World friendly dinner would you make? Um, so for starters, I would do something really easy. Um, maybe like tomato and basil soup or garlic, and I used to make this a lot, but obviously I had a lot more oil in, so I would just use fry light. Um, garlic and tomato prawns with like a little side salad. Um, it's just quick and easy, but obviously you have to check the people first, obviously with the whole prawns, because they require taste, but I love them. Um, and maybe serve some slices of wholemeal bread, so, so people can put them on the top, um, and then you can have that as your healthy extra B. Um, but I would literally just fry them in lots of garlic, fresh garlic, um, either cherry tomatoes or just normal salad tomatoes, just chop them up into little cubes, fry them, then add the prawns and just make it really garlicky, it's just yummy. Um, I usually would add a few herbs, maybe a bit of basil, um, a few dried mixed herbs if you wanted to just something to give a little bit of flavour in, um, even maybe a little bit of thyme, just a tiny little bit of thyme, or oregano would go quite well, but not too much because it's quite strong. Um, but yeah, that would just be quite a nice, easy, simple starter. Or as I said, tomato and basil soup, and you can just warm that, you can make that before, even the day before, which probably would taste better the next day, um, and just warm it up just before you serve. Again, you could serve that with healthy extra B. Um, choice whole meal, um, white, or what whole meal roll, as a, white rolls for others who aren't following Slimming World um, or you could have a white roll yourself and just sin it um, but they are quite high sins. <laughs> um, for main I would choose, again this would depend who would be coming, when I've done dinner parties in the past I've always done spaghetti bolognese, um, something you can prepare earlier on, you can just, all you've got to do is just cook the pasta, that doesn't take too long and just warm up the bolognese. Um, it's great because you can serve it with some garlic bread. Again, you could use the gear batters, the char gear batters. Um, cut them in half, toast them slightly, and just or spray with loads and loads and loads of the fry like garlic, or just put fresh gar crushed fresh garlic on the top and um, uh, fry light. I would probably use the olive oil or the coconut one and just spray it. Put loads of garlic, put it in the oven so it's really garlicky, yummy. Hmm. Um, put maybe put a bit of cheese on it as your healthy extra A, or you know mozzarella would be a good one. Maybe with cheddar if you want just cheddar. Um, yeah, that's what I would do. Um, another alternative you could do is um, um, a curry. That's really easy, and you can do. You can either use a JD seasonings, but you can get loads of herbs and spices in the supermarkets these days as well. And just make a curry with loads of different types of rices. Again, you can use the packet rices. Um, Sainsbury's do an Indian style um, curry rice which is free in the packets I showed those on my video um, in my shopping hall where Sainsbury's hall a little while ago about a couple of weeks ago um, you could make Bombay potato again everything you can make beforehand and just warm it through maybe just the rice you might just need to cook at the time um, you could do that whilst you're having the starter so yeah, and for pudding I would just keep it really simple, lots of strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, make kind of like an eaten mess style using quark, um, obviously some meringues you're going to have to sin those, but you could use the large ones or have the small ones, I can't remember how many sins they are, but check the app because they are quite low sins and just have it with like quark or low fat yoghurt or both the quark and low fat yoghurt so it's a bit runnier. Um, maybe add a, like an options white chocolate in there so it's just a subtle taste or a little bit of Jordan skinny syrup just to sweeten it um, so it's a bit like a cream but not um, heavily sinned then it's free so yeah that's what I would have I would do that um, 
and you don't even have to have the meringue if you didn't want to but everyone else could but it's light easy especially if you're having a heavy um, meal that's what i would choose um you've forgotten your lunch what would you grab from the supermarket now funny enough we have just come back from our trip um and i didn't forget my lunch i just I didn't have anything i knew that we'd have to have something when we're out um i'd already made the boys and darren some sandwiches but it was white bread I didn't have enough anyway we literally was down to the last slice um so i had some pears and that with me so i knew i could have pear and grapes but i wanted something for lunch sort of a bit more substantial so found a sh shop in one of the t uh, villages on our way back and i picked up a sushi so it's the co-op sushi um co-ops are pretty much everywhere but i know like marks and spencers do them tesco's do them but most of them are on the app and it was a massive pack i had the sushi deluxe which was four sins and it was so filling i nearly couldn't finish it but i did but for four sins i was really happy with that um, another alternative i would probably just go for a banana some pack the packs of melon and maybe a pack of like chicken you can get the Bernard Matthews chicken some of them are free you can also get just you can buy the flame grilled chicken slice some of them are free just check the app I know Asda do them but yeah that's what I would do and Tesco's Express have so many options just grab some ham if not you know make sure it's just um, a lean ham and yeah grab that um that's what I would do um uh, number three supermarket sweep you have got 60 seconds to grab as much slim and well friendly food for you can for free what would you grab now first of all i would probably grab lots of speed fruit um lots of free fruit so lots of berries like strawberries blueberries pear um, apples grapes bananas they're speed and free i would gra grab some courgettes peppers mushrooms um just because they're really easy to cook with maybe some onions and then head to the meat i would get lean chicken breasts i would get lean five percent mints um lean lamb i love lamb um and you can get lean lamb in some supermarkets now um what else would i get oh i think i wrote some bits down actually and just things like dried pasta yeah that was it dried pasta tin tomatoes baked beans and if i have time which i probably doubt after getting all that i will probably go to the freezer section and get lots of frozen cherries because i love a frozen cherries and maybe some corn sausages the low fat ones um yeah but i don't know if i'd be able to do all of that in the supermarket <laughs> um but i'll give it a go Number four, a new member has joined Slimming World. What one piece of advice would you give them? <sighs> now, I have actually always thought about doing a little Q&A on something like this. And one, that was one of the questions I would choose. And uh, I don't know if I could give one piece of advice. A lot of people would say we'd probably go to stay to group. And that would be definite one I would say to, if I was seeing someone, I would, you know, who had... I met a group I would say to stay to the group because that's the way it does work for me anyway um but also something I've learned doing Slim World this time and also other diets as well is seeing this as a lifestyle change um you know it's not a diet I want to I mean for me initially I thought I'm getting 40 next year I want to get down to the size I want to get down I've been like this for three years I just don't want to be like this anymore or four years um I was never slim slim before but I'm going to hopefully I want to get lower than I was because even when I was after I had Sydney I still had a little bit of weight to lose not enough but I just never got to it and you know I wish I had really um but yeah that is would be one thing that I would want to sort of do is see it as a lifestyle change that's what I would say to someone see this is a lifestyle change now um you might initially like speak like say I want to go to a party or I'm going on holiday or it's my birthday a big birthday and you want to get there but that wouldn't that isn't initially my this is something I want to live with for the rest of my life I might not sit there and write everything down in future and I plan to when I get to a target but um when I get to target I want to like not write everything down and I can do that because I can do it in my head roughly um I'll probably maybe not go off plan but be more like less 
oh my god I'm waffling here now <laughs> I would write let stuff down a lot less I wouldn't write everything down um, I would just make mental notes in my head um, but at the moment I'm writing everything down but I, I am seeing this as a lifestyle like today I could have easily bought some sweets well I bought some sweets for the boys we were in this little sweet cutest little sweet shop in the new forest and it's just literally <laughs> nearly like floor to ceiling full of like jars of sweets and it's so cute and quaint and I said to Sydney well I treat you to some and I could have easily just like picked at some and before I knew it, I would have eaten like 20 sins but I didn't have one. Oh, I had one flying saucer which was half a sin and that's all I've had um and yeah I'm fine you know that's a lifestyle it wasn't like oh I'm on Slimming World I've got that's what I'm doing I just knew that do I want to have any more no I know I won't feel that great so yeah I wouldn't be staying to group would be well if I had to choose one thing it would be see it as a lifestyle sorry about that I've just waffled <laughs> lots <laughs> to get to where I wanted to get to which I could have asked straight away anyway do you exercise and if so what do you do um so yeah I've done a video on my own and some of you who um have watched my channel for quite a while now um know that I do exercise um so what do I do I do for those of you that don't know, I do running. I have run for years. Um, I wouldn't say I'm committed. I can go months without running. Um, but for the last year, I'd say I've run very regularly. Um, and especially since the new year when I joined a running club, I go once a week and at weekends if I can. Um, I also rejoined boot camp. Again, it's something I've done in the past and if I haven't done it, well, since I've had Ralph, I sort of done hits of workouts, just watching DVD, so watching videos on YouTube, or just doing it myself. Um, I've, yeah, I've just done that. So hit workouts would be one of them. But I have joined a boot camp, which is very hit based, so it's very high intensity, but it's also lifting weights as well. Why, whenever I talk about weights, I talk about like I'm lifting them up. <laughs> I'm very vocal with my hands, aren't I? Um, yeah, so weights, but it's not like in the gym. I've done the gym and I've done gym on and off for years and years and years. I just don't enjoy it really. I love exercising outside and that's what my boot camp does. It's outside and I go running. I love walking as well. Um, no, not necessarily just pop my trainers and go for a walk. I might say if a friend wanted to go for a walk, we'd go. Um, but usually it's going for a walk with the family and it's literally walking up hills, long distances along the beaches and I usually can probably do a few steps actually um, and it's quite it's not just a casual stroll it can be quite climbing hills can get quite hot and sweaty <laughs> so yes um, that's what I do where about on myself have I noticed that I've lost weight the most um, I would say I would say there's a massive difference but on my face slightly I definitely feel it here um, my face shape is not as round um, and also on my stomach um, I, I'm apple shaped so I tend to put a weight on my apple around my stomach but I have noticed I think that's work from working out has changed that shape and more recently uh, my arms I've looked in the mirror and think, my arms are actually quite slender looking they're not so puffy looking so yeah, my arms definitely have noticed a difference, just in tops and that. And I feel like I could just easily wear like a, just a vest top now, because I'm not that worried too much about my arms. They're not that bad. My legs and my bottom, my legs aren't thin. They're quite muscular, I guess, the tops of my legs, but not too bad. I would never get my legs out anyway, but my bottom is fairly, has always been fairly small. Um, yeah, I said I'm more the apple shape, so it's around the stomach, I know, would notice it more. Um, do you have any way day rituals? <sighs> Probably my... The one thing I do do is wear the same trousers. Um, and if I don't wear the same trousers, like recently it was, when it was really cold, I managed to, I weighed my gym trousers and they weighed less than my main trousers 
um, are weighing trousers so baggy now. I think it's just not just because I've lost weight, but I think also because they lost their shape, their harm pants, so they're quite baggy anyway. Um, but they look a bit silly on me now. So I've actually bought exactly the same pair, but the next size down in a small. Um, so, which look much better. Still baggy, but that's the style. And I actually like them in the summer when it gets a bit hot. Um, they actually keep me cool. So, yeah, my leggings are now my alternative, depending on the weather or what I'm doing that day, um, to my weigh-in. So, yeah, if I have, will have to weigh a pair of trousers or skirt um, to see how they compare. That's just the one thing, really. Um, I don't eat a massive breakfast. That's the other thing I don't do. I don't eat a massive breakfast. Um, I will literally eat a satsuma or maybe a bowl of cereal. But that would be first thing when I know I've got a long time. Um, I would drink water. I drink a like a big bottle of water in first thing in the morning. But I know it's got to um, come out. I've got to pee. <laughs> I'll pee before I weigh in. <laughs> One moment. Sorry about that. I had an upset Power Ranger. <laughs> Um, so yeah uh, one my whale day rituals um so yeah I, I don't i will have a coffee maybe two i have noticed when i've had drunk a lot of coffee my weight maintains so i just have one coffee now um two at the most and that's it um yeah that's it really i don't have a massive amount of rituals as i said i'm trying to see this as a lifestyle when someone said to me why don't you know why don't you have breakfast this, a lady that was there and she said cause she's always had a breakfast because she said she wants to see it as a lifestyle and that a way day shouldn't be any different to um a normal day um she said she never has a heavy breakfast but she does always have something but she, she can't last until 11 30 um, until she gets weighed and um, not to have anything so she does have something so it did make me think next week i'm gonna have something and then that's what i've done since so i have something very light um, I'm always doing stuff on a Friday morning anyway when I get weighed so I'm always quite busy so uh, there's always stuff for, to keep me going until weigh in but I do like to have something otherwise I will get hungry hangry <laughs> um, what meal would you cook if you had a budget of £7.50 now I had a little think about this um, but probably the creamy Cajun pasta um, I would buy either the Cajun mix um, you can buy a little jar which is quite reasonable or a packet some of them you have to check because you have to sin some of them but the jar ones seem to be okay the Schwartz ones um, but you can buy like I bought Tesco's own seasoning and it's free as well um, so I'd use the fajita one or the Cajun but just check the sin value um, a couple of chicken breast a pepper about four or five mushrooms a courgette got enough left a bag of pasta and if I've got enough left over because you've got to allow for the sauce so the sauce would be would probably be one pound fifty it is normally one pound when it's an offer hopefully it'd be an offer that day <laughs> but no I think one pound fifty for the stronger lighter sauce which would be a healthy extra a and what else do you have with it spinach so you don't have to have the spinach but it's something you could add later on but you could probably do easy do it for seven pound 15 that's with all the ingredients and um, the only thing you'd miss out there is like the chicken stock but again you could just buy a cheap packet of sticking chicken stock cubes um but otherwise you just add water because the seasoning and the creamy sauce is enough um yeah that's what i would make and What's number nine? Have you kept any of your clothes from when you started your journey? Um, I have kept some. So I've kept these trousers. These are really baggy, but they are heart and pants. They are tended to be baggy. Um, and I've got a pair of jeans somewhere. I have given a lot of stuff away. I've chucked lots of stuff away. I don't think I've got anything that I can wear that is a massive difference apart from my jeans. But yeah, I kind of wish I kept a good pair of jeans because there was one pair of jeans where after Christmas just didn't fit me anymore. 
they were too big and they were like they were torn as well they were like the ones with the knees cut out and I kind of gutted a bit like I threw them away because it would have been nice to compare because they were quite noticeably different especially now there would be even more difference because the pair that I bought that was a smaller size that I already had hoping that would get into them <laughs> ages ago um now are getting too big for me now so I will keep those but yeah I kind of gutted I chucked those ones away actually um but then I my mindset was that I didn't really want to hang on to anything because I never want to get back there um and I took my measurements I've got measurements somewhere I've written them down so I do know roughly uh, so I, I could compare roughly um but yeah I'm a bit gutted I haven't got many trousers or anything just to compare I'll have a look but I mean, these are jumpers that I've had. They just fit me now. I've got so many clothes that I had that just fit me. So I just haven't got many things. I have got some, some there, I'm sure. Definitely. Um, I've got a bra, <laughs> but I'm not going to do a, I'm not going to do a comparison bit for that. Um, but I am noticing I do need to get remeasured again. So uh, obviously, I'm losing it well from my back. Um, so yeah sum up your journey in three words now this took me a little while to think of something because it's been a so far it's been a i've enjoyed this journey um so that was one of my words enjoyable it sounds weird but yeah i've actually really enjoyed it because one because of the similar community um sort of for those you know should we say the slimming world big celebs in the youtube world um commenting and just sort of just being lovely really but also everyone really there's you know i've made some really lovely friends i've really enjoyed my journey and not just on slimming world i mean on sorry on, on, slimming, on youtube and instagram i've met some lovely people who i consider friends um as darren calls them they're my fake friends <laughs> not because we're fake but just we live in this virtual world <laughs> He said, one day they'll become your real friends because you'll eventually meet them. <laughs> and hopefully one day I will. But also, not just that, I've made friends a group. I've made a friend with a lovely lady, as I said before, who I will consider a really lovely friend and someone that I will always be in contact with, even if she decides Slimming World's not for her. We're going to do a walk together. Um, but Slimming World, for me, I can't see it going anywhere. Um, I might step back a bit more from group and just go like twice a month when I get to Target. Um, but I would also like to be part of the social team as well, maybe in the future, because Ralph will be at nursery on that day. So, yeah, I would probably then go every week or alternate it with someone um, as well. That's the other thing. Um, but yeah, I I would see it. I, there's some lovely, lovely people there um, in the virtual world and in the real world. So, yeah, I've really enjoyed it, but also I've enjoyed the food. I've enjoyed eating, the food, everything. Um, so yeah, I really enjoy it. Um, the other one is lifestyle. Again, I see, as I said previously, I see this as a lifestyle. So um, it's also increased my exercise. Well, I would say increase my exercise. Cause I did. I said I have to did do a lot of exercise before, but it has made me more, shall we say, committed to my exercise um because i'm seeing results with eating the healthier food so yeah it's a lifestyle for me now and my last one is honest i have been honest on here i have been honest in my book I write everything down i would be honest in my book and i'm an honest in group i will say if i've had a bad week and i would say you know <sighs> Yeah, I'll say if I've had a bad week of how I'm feeling. The only thing I haven't been honest about, and I have lied, is I've not told people about my YouTube video. Um, but I do know that some people do watch. Um, one lady that I got caught out on, so and she said some lovely words. So, yeah, um, that's one thing I haven't been honest about. But that's me. That's not them thinking, oh, they'll say nasty things, because I know full well they wouldn't that's just me not feeling comfortable that's it's like standing up in front of the class at school you some people can do it and some people can't and I could never do it I did it at school but I hated it you feel your cheeks going burning um 
and maybe that's a bit of it but i'm getting there i'm getting there so yeah enjoyable lifestyle and honest i don't know i can't an honest enjoyable lifestyle i don't know um but yeah those are my three words um so now i need to tag some people so i mean who hasn't been tagged but i'm not sure if she has i think she has but i'm gonna tag my lovely friend kate sw um yeah i will tag her in, everyone i'm tagging now i'm gonna tag in the, the links below so you can see all the questions they're in the box below so yeah ksw um oh my gosh i really need to think because i'm trying to think who hasn't been tagged uh natalie marie josie if you're watching i tag you you may have been tagged again i'm not sure but i'm tagging you and I know Phil's been tagged. He was he was my one, and then I realised someone else tagged him. Um, Yvetka, if you're watching, I know you do watch my channel because you've commented previously. Um, Yvetka, I'm ta tagging you as well, but I'm also going to tag. Um, it's Yvetka's Slim World Journey again. I'm going to tag it below, but also if you haven't been tagged and you really want to take part. I'm tagging you as well, okay? So it's below are the questions. So those are my three tags, but I said anyone who hasn't been tagged, tagged and wants to take part in this 10 questions, then go ahead because I am tagging you. Um, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's my first one back since being away for a couple of days. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and hello to all my new subscribers. I've noticed there's been quite an influx of you the last couple of days, so thank you. Um, and I will be back beginning of next week. I will try and do a what I eat in a day soon. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm doing something different. Watch this space next Friday. Um, yeah, I will be back next week anyway. I will do maybe a bit about my holiday and how I got on. Did I, was I on plan? Was I not? watch this space anyway i shall speak to you next on um, next week when everything resumes to normality because the school runs resume and the nursery runs resume and my sanity rises um, i shall speak to you soon take care bye